Dave Mitten said that Britt Allcroft had approached him to shoot an animated television series. And that's when I found out that it was Thomas the Tank Engine. There was no digital stuff in those days, so it was all what we could do, completely live action in front of the camera. I got given the job, along with a couple of other guys, of building seven trains for the first series, and we had about six weeks to do it. The idea was always going to be that they had to A, smoke, and B, their eyes had to move because it was the only movement that we actually had. We had a large studio at Shepparton and the sets were all built on giant tabletops. We only ever made it in 20 foot sections. There's a periscope that comes down from the camera and gives you a person's eye viewpoint just above the set and from the camera's point of view it looks fantastic. Enormous respect for the technical people and how they kept on making it look so good. That kind of idyllic English countryside and it was always beautiful to look at. Towards the end of the series I realised what we were doing was we were making the best train set in the entire world. I'm amazed that I got paid to film a, a train set, film a train set on the floor and you know, people give me money for that. It was a joy to work on, it really was frankly the pinnacle of my career. My memory of working on Thomas for the four years of my life was, is very positive. Incredible, incredible. To have been there from the very start is very special really. I think it's one of the iconic children's themes of the, um, you know, age. But I would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs>